ऑनरेबल श्री मनसुख मांडविया जी मिनिस्टर फॉर हेल्थ एंड फैमिली वेलफेयर गुरु जी एस्टीम गेस्ट एंड डिस्टिंग्विश्ड अवार्डीज अ वेरी वेल वॉम वेलकम टू द सुश्रुत अवार्ड्स इट्स ट्रूली एन ऑनर टू हैव यू श्री मांडविया जी एज अ चीफ गेस्ट टुडे underscoring the unwavering commitment of the government towards enhancing healthcare outcomes and ensuring the well-being of every citizen i admire how you managed the covid-19 crisis sir whether it was through the handling covid crisis or carrying out the immunization campaign effectively i have had the good fortune of uh, working with the honorable minister since i am on the board of uh, pgi chandigarh and i have got an opportunity to understand the way the government the ministry of health and the honorable minister approaches things from an outsider's perspective i remember i was having a conversation with him about how many aims we are opening and he was very candid to say that our thought process is not that we will open aims in every district we will obviously do that whatever we can best to our ability but for a country of the size and scale of india which has more than 140 crore people we need to change our thought process and that is the mantra that the honorable prime minister is working on and the honorable home, uh, health minister is working on and the thought process is how do you carry out the world's largest healthcare program which the honorable minister spoke about very briefly from that because sir is my senior colleague in the rajya sabha as well and i was fortunate enough to be there in the house today when sir was talking about how he was conferred the responsibility and as a normal karyakarta coming from very humble beginnings he became a minister in the state government in 2016 from there his journey to become a minister of state from there his journey to becoming the health minister at a time when the world did not know how to deal with a pandemic of the size and scale of covid because no one knew what to do sir i want to thank you and congratulate the government and yourself on your approach to how to solve the problems and the complex problems that are there in india especially in the medical sector and the health sector i remember it was always stay with me he said that with the quantum of money we've been able to give insurance to 12 crore families we might have not only been able to open a couple of aims with that but if we increase that net we will be able to cover the largest segment of the population in the country and provide them healthcare insurance which is a remarkable achievement and when you talk about it with international at international forums people really do not believe the size and scale that the india is operating on when it comes to the health sector sir i would also like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to medically speaking the dedicated health vertical of the itv network for conceptualizing and organizing these awards through their weekly tv shows and their web portals they have been instrumental in raising awareness about crucial health issues and advocating for positive change in healthcare landscape sir i remember this uh, show was coined during the covid crisis and the team of editors were sitting and saying what is it that a media entity can do to contribute in this time of crisis and our editorial teams uh, our editors rishab gulati mr rana yashwant all of them got together and said why don't we do television pe opd because us waqt jankari ka abhav tha sabse bada vishay us waqt jankari ka tha aur jo alag alag bhatiyan phailai ja rahi thi usko kis tarike se toda jaye so we started a small initiative from our side called medically speaking of giving the correct and the right perspective to people uh, and how they can benefit from that information so what started off as a show has turned into medically speaking as a platform sir thank you very much for taking out time and being here as we gather here today it is fitting to pay homage to sushrut the father of surgery whose ancient text the sushrut samhita stands as a testament to the rich heritage of indian medicine and surgery sushrut te teachings have transcended time guiding generations of he healers with his profound wisdom and innovative surgical techniques his holistic approach to healthcare encompassing both physical and spiritual well-being continues to inspire medical practitioners worldwide the awards have been named in his honor and a tribute to his pioneering contribution to the field of healthcare amid a celebration of the remarkable individuals and institutions shaping the land the landscape of public health 
we must also acknowledge the persistent change that confronts us. There exists what some have termed as the idiot syndrome, a phenomenon which where misinformation and ignorance jeopardizes the health and well-being of communities. This syndrome, characterized by a, by a disregard for medical expertise and a preference of uh, pseudoscience, poses a grave threat to the public at health and its efforts. As we honor the dedicated professionals and volunteers amongst us, let us remain vigilant against the spread of misinformation and the dangers of idiot syndrome. We must continue to educate and empower our communities with accurate information and scientific knowledge. In the world of words of uh, Albert Schweitzer, medicine is not an art. Medicine is an art, not a trade, a calling, and not a business. We must uphold the integrity of our profession and combat ignorance wherever it may arise. We will also be launching a special helpline today, sir, so that we can support and counsel those people to whom hospitals refuse the release of the dead bodies of their loved ones. One especially due to unpaid hospital bills, as this goes against the Patient Rights Charter. In 2021, the NHRC issued an advisory titled Upholding the Dignity of Protecting Rights of the Dead, explicitly prohibiting hospitals from deliberately retaining dead bodies for non-payment of bills. Sir, I've personally been a big proponent of this, and I have raised this matter multiple times in the parliament. And through this platform, I will request you, because I know you have been very sensitive on such issues, that uh, we want to launch a campaign from ITV Network, ITV Foundation, where we will be also launching a helpline. And we will seek your guidance and the ministry's guidance. I know it's a state subject, and there's very little that your ministry can do. But still, whatever we can do to spread awareness and uh, inform people so that they can take on and know their rights. And, and uh, this is something where we must give the dignity uh, to those people who need it the most, especially uh, such cases have come up just recently, four days back, there was a case in Lucknow as well. So my uh, humble submission is that if uh, you and the ministry can kindly direct us uh, and help us in this campaign, which will benefit many people. So as the New, New York human humanist, uh, humanist Dick McMahon once said, a humanist is someone who does the right thing, even though he knows that no one is watching. It's our moral duty to ensure that every individual, even in death, is treated with dignity and respect. So I would like to once again thank you very much on the behalf of the ITV network for taking out time. I know how busy schedule you have and you were at uh, uh, as a, uh, the uh, in minister in charge in the Raj Sabha today, uh, but still you took out time. And uh, you know, I really want to uh, thank the entire ITV network team all the recipients of the awards who have made this event into a success. And let us continue to work towards a healthier and brighter future of Bharat. Thank you and Jai Hind. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.